Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, we are going to see about what is summarize function in DAX. And it is one of the important function in DAX and which will return a table as the output. Let us see with a business scenario understanding when to use it. So we are familiar with uh, Naga Garments business. And today he has a question like, he has to get what is the maximum quantity sold by each product and it should show the total basically against each product he wants to see how many product maximum it has sold say for example this particular t-shirt sold 50 as a maximum or 10 a quantity as a maximum this fan has sold 5 so this is 10 this is 5 in total he has to see 15 like uh, he has to get product wise maximum quantity sold and at the end it has to display the total how can we achieve it using a summarize function let us see in this video if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in power bi we are in power bi now and you have a list of products as well and uh, you can see here uh, to get a maximum against the uh, product let us see try to create uh, one visual maximum quantity so usually we will think like uh, max of sales quantity if you put that will give us the result right let us see what will happen when you put that so max quantity when i use in this table it gives me uh, across all uh, year okay these product each product giving me a uh, maximum quantity sold and the problem with this is like i mean the customer requirement in this is like he has to get the total of sum of all the maximum quantities and he has to get but here what happened now you can see uh, the total it is not returning the total it is giving the maximum value from the list that is how a maximum value will work right so this is the problem now how to solve it using a summarize so basically he has to generate this uh, virtual table and then sum it up these values and show it as a result that is what we have to do and some one of the key function i want to highlight about summarize is like it will create the table right so you can create a table using a product uh, like this okay then you can use uh, some of all those things while doing it you cannot filter by other accesses what i'm trying to say is now i have this one now let us see I'll put year here, not here as a filter. Okay. So give me a minute. So I'm choosing 2016. Um, so it is filtering based on different years, right? Let me increase the size so that people can see it better. Okay, now I'm filtering 2016, 2018 as well as I can even uh, filter with uh, some product uh, category uh, over here. Let me uh, increase the size of this as well. It's not increasing. Let us uh, increase the value over here. Okay, now you see I'm filtering um, uh, only one particular. value so now based on this max within this table now i can able to filter when you create a separate table using a summarize function the you cannot you will lose the flexibility of filtering different years all other now you see from 2016 and 18 it is not changing because the data is uh, more or less same you cannot filter using the year filter okay that is what i'm trying to say so let us try to create uh, one summarize function basically summarize will create a table so let me create it for you uh, where is that insert modeling 
and it is like hold on give me a minute new table so let us try to create this summarize function summarize and I want to mention sales table it's usually a group by column right if you are familiar with group by you can able to recognize this product and you need to give the allies name you can have multiple group by columns now I'm going for only one column so now max quantity now you can write what is the aggregate function quantity sales quantity now what it does it will create a new table right new table new table and you can see the results now you can see this new table here new table and it is having only this information so you cannot have a flexibility choose different years or different product category name I'm saying product category also you can group by but I'm saying in other dimensions you cannot date dimension especially you cannot connect because you are already grouping up using certain thing and you are using it basically what I'm trying to say is now against this product okay I want to create another table so using max you are uh, uh, able to achieve it right the not here from the new table product name and quantity name just remove other columns just keep only these two now you can see it returns these two tables this is from base table this is the computer table gives the same result two three I, I have achieved my end objective so if your user wants to have it as a static report you can create a calculator the table like this with disconnected some possibility of connection should be there then you can go for this option so just create a max of that and use some of it so you will get the total but the problem with this table is like you cannot filter by year different year even uh, I, you cannot filter by location that this will be a perfect example say for example I have a location here and um, <coughs> location wise I want to filter it then I cannot use uh, this uh, filter right that is my biggest uh, problem with this approach now you see this remains same and you can see the difference now how to do that for that this summarize function act as an internal table like this I have written this function already let us see this one um, let us try to create a new measure so summarize this table at the same table whatever we created on top of that I use sumx okay sumx of sumx requires a table right so summarize as we see before this will return this particular table this entire query and use use table and expression what you need you want some of this max quantity this particular column you put that one this max quantity because max quantity you want to do this sum let us put like this <sighs> what happened the same name exists so give us a new measure quantity okay fine so new measure quantity I will put it against here now you get the same result as uh, for each product you get a different uh, thing and each based on the location you see the difference right this will not change but this is changing and even you can filter by different year right because the sales table uh, passed as an argument here let us filter by year list I hope uh, you guys uh, understand what I'm trying to convey here like summarize will return a virtual table it can be used as a table inside a tax function or you can be able to create a 
table so once you create a table you cannot have lose the flexibility of filtration because you are grouping by certain columns uh, all other columns filtration will not be possible this is the example of it you see 2018 if you are filtering it is 20 but here this using a measure when you use summarize inside a measure that will act as a virtual table here uh, the one over here right so this is filtered whatever filtration applied in the sales table the 2017 that it is connected to the dim dam, dim date the sales table so whatever filters you applied that will also apply along with this calculation so each and it is so dynamic okay that is what so basically if you want to have a virtual table inside your dax function use like this summarize or some other table returning values on top of that you wrap around whatever aggregations you want so this is typical example of your summarize so now you can see 2017 in hyderabad these products sold this is the maximum quantity it has stored in 2017 for hyderabad and what is the sum of it if you like this video share and subscribe to the channel and do remember that data is your asset